2014, I was studying in Homs, English literature in the university. And I went to the mosque to pray on Friday. As you know, it's a day of Muslims to go to the mosque. And after we finished the, the prayer in the mosque, uh, the government, they put a car out of, this, uh, out of the mosque to show the Europe or the world that we have terrorists in Syria. And then I, after the explosion, I found myself in the hospital. And after one day, the second day of that moment, the doctor said, uh, we must to cut your leg because we cannot save it. When I arrived to Greece, the border was closing, so I couldn't continue my way to Germany. And then uh, I made an interview with a journalist from Barcelona, and she said, we can help you to, uh, to come to Barcelona. We were in Idomeni covering uh, the, the situation of the refugee camp when the Macedonian authorities decided to close the, the Greek-Macedonian border. And I just found him and he was uh, walking with his sticks. So he said, I came uh, from Syria alone. Uh, and, and, I said, and he said, I remember it very well. He said, I'm slow, but I'm patient. And we just ran the story of a young uh, Syrian refugee who had lost one leg in a car attack in the Elzor, and he was trying to make his way to, to Europe to help his family. So the thing was that just a couple of hours after we issued the story, there was a group of people here in Catalonia who contacted us through Twitter, and he said, we want to help him. After I arrived here, they helped me with the leg, but it's not a perfect leg, to be honest. And I couldn't continue my study here, and I have a lot of problems here, a lot of difficulties here. I lived in uh, San Andreo, and the, uh, with the Red Cross, they, uh, they, they, they don't have a good uh, accommodations for refugees. And they don't have special uh, places for the people who disability, who, who, who has problems in their bodies. When I come here to Plaza Catalonia and see this bears, as you see, I remember that when I was free like them. And yes, I remember when I was playing football, walking without any problem. Now the life has changed. <laughs> 